One of the key agreements in this bill was a concession that President Biden would resume the federal student loan payments, going back on the promise he made last year to try to stop some student loan repayments for good. The president's student loan forgiveness program was controversial at the time, supposed to write off about $10,000 in federal debt for most borrowers and up to $20,000 for most borrowers who had a Pell Grant. The Congressional Budget Office, though, ran the numbers and said it would cost $400 billion to put this into place, but supporters of it insisted it would help the American economy in the long term. I'm afraid we're turning the new generation of students and graduates into a generation of renters and not buyers because they're saddled with such debt when their parents and many of the critics of these plans went to school when it was either free or very, very low. The high court's expected to rule on this over the summer, and borrowers could return to the loan payments after August 29th. Interest will also start building at that time as well, and the interest has been frozen since early 2020, coined as COVID-19 relief.